All right, folks, let's take a look at the crypto markets. I've been out of town the last couple of days uh, with the kiddos, a little family trip. Um, you know, BitBoy, I just said BitBoy. God, what am I thinking about BitBoy? Bitcoin has had a little, <laughs> has had a little bit of a pullback. Um, now, of course, everybody's talking about the CPI data. That's why it's pulling back. Stocks are pulling back a little bit as well. Folks, get over this stupid CPI data and the inflation and the rate hike. Get over it. Everything goes in cycles. Bitcoin goes in cycles. The stock market goes in cycles. Inflation goes in cycles. We had inflation back when I was a baby, when I was two years old, 40 years ago, or 30-some years ago. We all survived it. It worked out fine. Those who bought during the stock market dips made lots of money. Those who bought during the real estate crash in 2008, I had no money in 2008, folks. I was completely broke. My wife and I were living in Florida. We rented out a condo in Tampa, okay? These condos were, we were paying like $800 a month for this condo. It had like a pool, gated community, beautiful, surrounded by million-dollar houses. This was in New Tampa. They were, all the condos were in foreclosure, including the one we were renting. They were selling those condos at the time, folks. For twenty to forty thousand dollars, they were just trying to get rid of them. If you had money back then and you picked up a few of them, you'd be a multimillionaire right now. Right now, those same condos are three hundred thousand dollars, forty thousand to three hundred thousand, because real estate had crashed. Now, I had no money back then. I had nothing to my name. My wife actually had money, but we just thought we were stupid kids. I was in my twenties at the time. And I was just thinking, oh, well, you know, the world's going to end. But those who bought then made a lot of money. So my plan, like I said, buy a lot of crypto right now. I'll probably be buying some stocks pretty soon. And I'm going to be buying some real estate in five or six months once at the bottom. Now, I don't think real estate's going to crash as bad as it did in 2008. But I do think we're going to see a very good pullback. This is the time to be buying, folks. I'm sick of hearing about this stupid rate hike. Okay, they're going to increase the rate. They're going to increase the rate. And the market's going to thump. And then everything's going to shoot right back up again. You know... The problem with humanity is you're just, you, me, we're all very emotional people, but you have to, when it comes to investing, just block it out. When I first got into crypto, 2017, I bought Litecoin. I would have the sweats at night looking at my phone. I thought, I think I bought my first Litecoin at like $250. It kept going down and down and down. I'd buy more. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to buy more at $200. I can't go any lower. Kept going down and down and down and down. I had the sweats looking up. I'd have like an alert on my phone. I get up at like three in the morning sweating. I couldn't sleep. Now, I don't even care about the price anymore. Like, I just want it to dump. That's how you know you're a crypto OG, when you want the price to dump. I've been wanting Matic to dump because I missed the boat on Matic all week. Um, I was on vacation. I didn't even really look at the markets all that much the last couple of days. I was just so busy. And Matic is down to $0.78 cents right now. Probably not a bad time to buy, but I'm not buying it until it gets down to $0.65. Cents. It may not get there, but I just don't feel like buying it until it hits 65 But keep in mind, Matic was just up to like 90 some cents. It was almost at a dollar a week ago. We got Mr. Cardano hanging out at $0.47. Cents. I mean, Cardano's doing very, very well. A lot of these altcoins are holding up. Bitcoin's actually pumping a little bit right now. It was actually down a little bit earlier. Um, it was down in like the mid-20s. But folks, okay. The CPI numbers, whatever. The inflation, whatever. Okay, they 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 print some more money. The inflation, uh, they, you know, the rate the rate hike goes up. People dump their stocks. They dump their Bitcoin. Then a few a few days later, it all comes back. So people need to stop being so emotional. But emotional people is why we can make money in crypto. <clears throat> the Dow really only went down two hundred points today. SM the S and P five hundred fell one percent, so not even all that bad. The real question is what's going to happen tomorrow. I think tomorrow is when they announce the CPI numbers. So, yeah, I expect a dump and then a pump. This is common sense at this point, folk folks. I I saw this article. It's kind of annoying. Amid the, amid the hype, they bought crypto near its peak. Now they cope with painful losses. Well, just don't sell. If you sold, you lost. I bought my Litecoin at two fifty. And then I bought my Litecoin at $25, and then I made thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars by just holding my Litecoin and buying the dips. That's all you have to do. They pick these poor schlubs out. Boo-hoo. They bought the top. Boo-hoo. Well, all you got to do, folks, is look at the four-year cycles. If you bought the top of the cycle, all you got to do is buy, buy the dips, buy the dips, and then just sell the next top of the cycle, which will be the Bitcoin halvening around 2024. That's when it's going to happen. This isn't rocket science. This is what, a, what a mopey article. What just a loser article. Look at this woman. Boo-hoo. I bought the top. Boo-hoo. Pity for me. Boo-hoo. 
Loser, 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 loser. Buy the dip, you dummy, and then sell in two years. I'm sick of these losers. You know, I, and I do relate. I was like her a couple years ago. I was very sad about my Litecoin purchase. But you just buy the dip. And if you put all your money in at the top, then you're stupid. You, can, you never put all your money in crypto. You got you to gotta have some on the side. Anyway, what else is going on? I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> Cryptocurrency slump while U.S. regulatory scrutiny increases. That's what I was saying. Everybody's kind of waiting for that, uh, the CPI numbers and inflation. Some of the biggest losers, yeah, Polygon, Ether, blah, blah, blah. Polygon, well, you know, Polygon definitely went down, but it, it pumped the most too. This is a great time to buy Polygon. Like I said, it's Polygon's almost there. I just need Polygon to get into the 60 cents range. I'll probably dump in five grand at that point. I just don't want to buy in the 70 cent range. But um, yeah, things are down. Great time to buy. What's the big deal, folks? Stop being such babies. Fed prepares another rate increase as Wall Street wonders what's next. Well, who cares what's next? Yes, they're going to raise the rates if they do. Yeah, your stocks are going to dump for a couple months. Worst case scenario, stocks dump for a couple months. Crypto dumps for a couple months, and then it goes right back up again. Actually, I think what's going to happen is with crypto, I think if they do um, do a rate increase, which they probably will, you'll probably see crypto dump for like an hour, and then it'll shoot right back up. I mean, crypto is like, crypto's kind of already kind of hit a bottom at 17,000. Like, I just don't think this this uh, the, these CPI numbers and rate increases are even affect crypto all that much at this point. You'll probably see a little dump, then it'll shoot right back up. I mean, people are such pussies. Stop being so afraid, everybody. Like, this is such... This isn't bad news. We The country has had rate increases. We've had inflation, like I've said. We've had all this before. We've had real estate crashes. We've lived through this before. Stop being such babies. All these babies. All right. Cardano ADA is one of the most developed asset in crypto, says blah, 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 sentiment. Anyway, I've been, I've been pointing out articles like this for the last couple months. Uh, basically, Cardano continues to be the king of blockchains when it comes to the frequency of meaningful GitHub activity. That's what you want to see, folks. You want to see developers are developing on Cardano, folks. This is going to be the king next bull run. You know, every bull run, there's a king. Last bull run, what was it? You know, a lot of people think it was Cardano. It really wasn't. A lot of coins like outperformed Cardano in the top 10. Um, I, can't, I don't even know off the top of my head, but of course, Polygon did really, really well. Last bull run, Solana. There was a lot of hype behind those coins. Ethereum did really, really well. Um, but I think, I think next bull run, Cardano is going to outperform Ethereum 100%. I think next bull run, 2023-2024, is going to be the Cardano bull run. And that's why I'm stocking up on my Cardano. Um, the GitHub activity is off the charts. People are developing on it. That's all people are talking about. There's not a lot of venture capitals hyping it up, which I hate to see venture capitals hyping coins because... Eventually, they pull out of that coin, and the thing basically dumps like 90%. I like that Cardano is an intellectual coin. I like that the guy behind it is a genius, and he's one of the um, founders of Ethereum. And I like how he's not a shiller. I like how he's an intellectual. We need an intellectual for a long-term hold. And the blockchain actually works. And they basically have the Vasco hard fork. Everything's looking good for Cardano, folks. Every day, the news gets better and better for Cardano, regardless of the price. The price isn't even all that bad. We've been... We've been hanging out in the 40 cent range for the last couple months. In fact, the cheapest Cardano ever went was 38 cents, this, bull, this bear market. It hasn't gone any lower than 38 cents because I bought some then. So things are looking good for Cardano. Um, I have a lot of Cardano, so I'm really not buying any more until it goes back below 30 cents. I'm looking to buy some other coins. But if you don't have any Cardano and you can get in the 40 cent range, mark this video. You will do very well in 2024, but you got to sell it. When I come on and make my YouTube channel and say, folks... I'm dumping my Cardano at five ten dollars I'm retiring. I suggest you sell a bunch of your Cardano too because it will probably dump heavy as we go into a bear market and it might not be as successful the next bull run. You have to take your profits. I sold half my Cardano uh, in 2021 and I paid off my house along with some Theta. If I didn't do that, I would definitely be butthurt right now. But, you know, you got to take your profits. And next, next crypto uh, bull run, I'm going to be selling most of my coins, and I probably won't be buying back in. I might keep like 10% just for shits and giggles, but I think this whole crypto fad will eventually go away. I'm not, I'm not one of these maxis. I don't think crypto is going to change the world. I think eventually it'll just all go away and go to zero. <laughs> I, know that's, I know that sucks to say, but I, I do not see a future for Bitcoin in 10 years. And Cardano, yeah, it's great, but will it be around 
It'll be around this bull run, but we'll be around the next bull run. Probably something else will take it over, and eventually Cardano will be like Litecoin, where it's secure and you know you can get some ROI over it, but you're not going to get the 20 or 30x anymore. So, folks, that's pretty much it. That is basically what's going on. Let's see what happens tomorrow with the inflation and the stock market. Everything's looking fine to me. BNB still still holding at 250. I mean, it has hardly even dumped. You know, I'm watching all these YouTubers today. They're like, oh, it's so bad. I'm watching Tone Vays. Oh, it's not looking good out there for the markets. Bitcoin's dumping. But like, what? Okay. I mean, it's hardly dumped. Okay, BNB is holding up fine. I mean, what? Are, like, I was on vacation. I'm trying to figure out what people are like moping about. Okay, Cardano went from 50 cents to 47 cents. Boo hoo. Well, we've seen this before. Everybody's so fucking emotional. Okay, yeah, Matic went from 90 cents to 78, but it had a giant pump. It 3 x Okay, it's having a little bit of a pullback. The pullback is when you buy. Cardano, I mean, Litecoin's been hanging out in the 50 cent or in the 50 dollar range for the last four months. Like, I don't get what everybody's bitching about. Where's Theta? I mean, V Chain. Okay, it's still hanging out in the two cents range. Like, what are we looking at here? Who cares? It's nothing crazy. Okay, Theta's been between dollar and a dollar sixty for the last six months. Everybody gets so emotional over nothing. Over nothing. Big fucking pussies in the in the crypto space. Anyway, folks, I'll do another video tomorrow. Have a good night.